Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Act 6.4.4, all right? And I'm going to show you the path that I think is the easiest path to do in this particular quest for your initial clear. And that is this path right here starts with Sabretooth. And here are the nodes that you have to deal with. Basically, with an energy adoption uh, fire, that is incinerate. You do not want to incinerate your opponent. So don't bring in incinerate champions to this fight. Uh, hot and bothered, uh, it just goes on to basically tell you you don't want to incinerate them. So don't bring anyone based on incinerate. And that should not be a difficult um, node for you to deal with. You also saw Icarus. Icarus is a fun node. Um, for Ghost, she pretty much ignores it. However, any champion that you have can do this. Uh, you see the uh, Furies that are stacking up and Ghost just does crazy damage. This path is very fun for Ghost, but other champions can do it. This path, as long as they are not um, a champion that relies on incinerate, uh, you shouldn't have a, a problem. Uh, you may want to bring someone who's incinerate immune. Um, you can do that. Uh, but more importantly, you want to bring someone that can bleed. That will help you out considerably. Uh, if you read the node, uh, one of the things, if you can bleed them, you don't have to worry about uh, them triggering certain effects, like that incinerate. So, um, if you have a champion that is, you know, someone that can bleed a lot, you know, Gwenpool, for example, uh, bleeds a lot. Squirrel Girl, new champion, she bleeds. Nick Fury, of course, Blade. Uh, you've got plenty of options that uh, do well on this path. If they can bleed, they do well. Archangel also does well, okay? Uh, but I have Ghost. Ghost is my uh, normal quester. And so when I evaluate paths as to uh, their difficulty, I'm usually thinking of Ghost. And that's what I recommend you guys to do. Think of your roster. What champions do you have? Look at the nodes, because sometimes there's more than one path that could be considered the easiest, and sometimes it's all relative. You know, there's a path that is very easy for Ghost that might be difficult for the champions that you have. So you want to take a look at your own roster and do a little self-evaluation, okay? Um, and then look at each node. Most of the time you're okay, but like in the last quest, the path that we chose, each fight had a unique buff on it that was specific to that defender. So you want to scout your path. Same thing like you would do in Alliance War. Scout your path out, plan your attack, plan your team. All right? All right, so this next fight here is again still suit spidey now i just took mine to rank five uh and i have some videos on him as well but one thing that gets me more often than anything and you can see it happened there it throws my timing off his multi-hit combos um i think he is the only one that has a seven hit combo and that throws my timing off. I have to really prepare my mind for fighting him. I didn't do that that time. Okay? So you see there, you have to wait until he, you know, does that double attack. And see, I'm like backing up because I'm like, what, what, what's going on? All right. So here we go. And see there, I parried it. I didn't mean to. All right? And see there, now this is what I need to do. See how he's like, one, two, and then I attack. That's what you need to do. And I was so busy watching 
and trying to get the timing down that I went to a special three and I could have finished the fight with the uh, special two earlier, but we got it done anyway. Okay, um, thanks to Icarus and all that good stuff and the extra furies. All right, so next fight, we've got someone else that likes to evade a lot. Now, one of the things that I like about Ghost, when you're, that first attack after coming out of phase cannot be evaded. So you see how he has his spider sense charges up, but you see how I'm just hitting once and phasing, once and phasing. You see he's not evading, he can't, okay? And that's why you do that. Now, if I attack once and then decide to attack a second time, you know, like a two hit combo, he may evade that. You know, I might get lucky and I might not. But again, we had no problem. Icarus giving us lots of furies so that we just wrecked him even on the special three. All right, and her special three doesn't really do as much damage. Of course, that's her special two. That's the money, um, the money uh, special. But with all that fury stacked up, doesn't matter. And I've already mentioned to you guys some of the other counters uh, for this path. Um, Corvus can do this path just fine. Uh, so I don't really, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I just messed up there. Uh, but I don't think that there are any champions, at least none of the popular ones that I know of, that can't do this path. So there are a lot of counters. So don't worry about it if you're doing your initial clear and you don't have a ghost or you don't have Corvus or you don't have... Uh, a heavy bleed type champion like Nick Fury, Squirrel Girl, Gwenpool, um, Blade, you can still get this done. Now, I have been playing for a while, this quest in particular, although I've been playing Marvel Contest of Champions for a while too, but what you're seeing right now is fatigue. Uh, I actually sat down and did most of the quests in a row and even when I took a break I went and took a break but I was playing a uh, contest and I was doing duels or something else so I got tired got sloppy and it cost me a revive or two but I've got plenty of them at this point not really concerned uh, still have not used any units uh, people ask me, how many units did you spend? Zero. Uh, and that is the answer for every story quest. I have never spent any units. I've always done it out of my stash. The only time that I would spend units would be for energy refills. And I don't usually count those when people say, how many units did you spend? Because those are units you don't have to spend. You spend them if you feel like it and you just want to do it quickly. So I don't count those. But if you needed to revive and you use units, well, you're not completing it until you spend those units. So I have never spent units for anything other than revives on the story content like this. And I don't intend to start because I will slow play it. Now, this month, Kabam has given us energy refills like every day. So it's awesome. All right, uh, you see here, I'm fighting the Domino. Very annoying, very similar to how I have to fight Black Widow um, because she, at any point in time, can crit fail my phase. All right, see right there. Crit failure, I'm not phased, okay? and I'm taking all that incinerate damage. Nothing I could do. She crit failed me. I wasn't able to phase uh, to get rid of the damage and I kept trying to get away from her. Is what it is. Down goes Ghost once more. All right, so Domino is always an annoying uh, defender 
with that crit failure and they make sure you have nodes that uh, make her even more annoying. And what you saw there, let's pretend that didn't happen, shall we? Good. All right. So now you can see here, I'm paused. I'm, I'm like sitting here waiting and I didn't revive Ghost right away. So you could tell I'm kind of tilted uh, after that last one. I was just like, what in the ever living? You know, or what in the world? All right, so uh, I decided to give Ghost a little break. Give myself a little break. You see here, I'm just like, whatever. I don't care. Uh, she went in there and I went in there with her knowing that she was gonna die pretty quickly. Um, but it is what it is. I was just trying to give myself a little bit of time before I revive Ghost. So, uh, but in any case, this particular path is still fairly straightforward. Um, yeah. One of the things that I would definitely recommend if you're not gonna use Ghost and you're not gonna use someone that can bleed, uh, you wanna have someone who's incinerate immune. You can do it with a variety of champions. Lots and lots of champions can do this path. The difference is that you may end up spending a lot more in resources if you don't have an incinerate immune, a bleeder, or someone like Ghost that can phase away the incinerate and actually make use of it by turning it into a fury. All right, so definitely a, a great ghost path, but I'm like really fatigued at this point, and I'm just like, oh man. All right, so I took a look again because the final uh, mini boss at the end, you see rage and aggression. Uh, you want to take a look at that final node because in addition to the globals, you usually have to deal with something specific. All right, and in this case, it's rage and aggression. Not too much of a problem. See how she's backing off right there? I'm like, I thought it was aggression. I thought you were supposed to be more aggressive. What's going on? Okay, rage, annoying. See, she's unblockable right now because of the rage. All right, and I'm just sitting here watching that rage, and I'm just like, oh man, fired off a special three. But Ghost can do it. Uh, you have to be pretty decent with Ghost, at least. Um, there's a lot that I need to uh, learn with Ghost. Um, but you can see here, she's unblockable at this point. All right, and I'm doing one hit because of that D-Gen. All right, and then she caught me. Now, right there, I was kind of upset because I was doing very well. And I didn't stand there. I was dashing back, but remember what I told you before. Sometimes the uh, game will just ignore your input. They'll drop it. Uh, and so I sat here, and of course with Ghost, you dash, you dash to uh, phase. And with Wasp, I was not about to stand there. No way. But it is what it is. All right, see how I did right there where I dashed back twice? You always have to do that because the AI will fire off their specials so that you'll be caught out of phase by the time the special ends. So they'll start it when the phase is about to end. And if you stand there, you're gonna get caught. Don't ask me what happened there. I'm just, at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Let's just use these up. Um, I still have plenty of them. And one of the ways that I keep from having to use any units is I don't do any of these until I have a fairly sizable stash. And uh, you'll notice that I also have quite a few units, but I don't use them. All right, so I won't get stuck. And even if I was foolish enough to start this without having the uh, proper number of revives. 
uh, whatever that number is, then I would either back out, just quit, and come back when I do have enough revives. I've never had to do that um, because I've always had a lot. All right, so now we're at the boss. Close encounters, not a problem, love it. Uh, I tend to be aggressive fighter. Crumbling armor is a problem. Even though I'm an aggressive fighter, six seconds and ghost is pretty useless. Okay, just six seconds and that's all it takes. You know, you have enhanced armor break, yeah, yeah. Um, heavy hitter, all of that, energy sensitive, um, down but not out. All of those help her um, get her more charges so that she may go binary faster. Those can be annoying, but for me, it was that crumbling armor that made me the most nervous. And the reason is that the AI sometimes just plays too passively, okay? Especially against Ghost. Uh, so you see here, I'm just going in, and as long as she continues to do this, this particular fighting style, it's great, okay? I got off a special two, awesome. Now, if she backs off too much, I'm going to have a problem, all right? And see, I'm aggressive. Now, Saw, right there, I want to explain what happened there. And this is something the AI does you have to be aware of. But even if I had been able to counter that, chances are six seconds would have gone by and I would have gotten an armor break. But you saw the whiff in the middle or in the beginning. That throws the timing off. So they whiff and then they attack. And with Ghost, the first attack, you're basically waiting for her to miss, and then you attack. But instead, she missed, but she whiffed. And then when I attacked, she intercepted me. That ain't cool. That's not cool at all. But that's what happened. All right, so I gave Ghost a little break, and we're going in here with the hood. And... He can also do the fight pretty decently. Um, depending on your skill level, you can one-shot this boss, okay? Um, I didn't one-shot her, but uh, I know it is possible. Very, very possible, all right? So, other than those particular nodes, uh, if you have a champion that doesn't really care about the armor break, you're good, see? Uh, the hood has an armor break on him, but I don't care. I can uh, take the time, bait out her special one. I still don't know how to evade her special two very well. All right, and you see here, um, and then she caught me. She uh, basically, she gave me a little uh, faint. You know, she went to attack, and then she just threw me off, and I'm sitting here just trying to bait it out. Uh, one thing I don't like about her when she goes passive is that special one, it'll catch you good. She'll throw it when you're trying to bait and she doesn't fire her special off until you dash back and she will fire it off right at the time that you cannot recover. All right, so see here, that worked out pretty well. I'm, I'm just trying to bait it out. I'm always trying to bait out her special. Okay, there we go. Now, one thing with my boy, Dr. Voodoo here, and you'll see me do it once I bait her out, okay? Um, still trying to bait her out, all right? And then I just said, you know what, never mind. Okay, so here we go. Now, I wanna bring your attention to something with Dr. Voodoo. Did you notice that she went indestructible and it didn't matter because Dr. Voodoo took that away? Don't sleep on Dr. Voodoo. He is a beast. All right. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully this will help you out in your initial clear. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.